Hello my friends and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the latest and greatest version of the Komorebi Quick Start Guide. Komorebi is a tiling window manager for Windows written in the Rust programming language. Uh, this video guide targets version 0.1.21 and above and it will remain applicable until there is a new quick start video uploaded in the future. But it should be applicable for quite a while. So we're going to head over to the getting started tab uh, on the documentation website. Uh, there are a number of ways to install Komorebi. In this quick start video, we're going to go ahead and install it with Winget. Uh, the first thing that you'll want to do, especially if you are on uh, a brand new system like this one. Well, this is actually a virtual machine, but it is a brand new, fresh, untouched install of Windows 11. The first thing that you're probably going to want to do is enable support for long paths. You need to use an administrator terminal to do this. So let's go ahead and right click on terminal to run as administrator. When this comes up, uh, let me resize this. We will not be resizing like this with the cursor for much longer. Uh, we can enable long paths with this command and then we can close that window. Uh, the other preparatory step that we will want to do here is open up a regular terminal and just ensure that a local app data directory exists for Komorebi. With all of that done, we can now proceed to the WinGet instructions. So first of all, if you're on Windows 11, this should already be installed and set up. But just as a sanity check, uh, run WinGet dash dash help uh, and ensure that you get the, the help docs coming up. That means that you have a perfectly good working version of WinGet on your system. We are going to install two packages from Winget, gz.comorebi and gz.whkd. And you can actually install these uh, at the same time. So I can do comorebi, can do whkd, and this is going to pull down the installers uh, you'll have to accept the, the Microsoft license if you're doing this on a new machine. Uh, but yeah, it's going to pull down the installers and it's going to prompt you uh, with the installation for both of these. So these pop-ups will come twice if you haven't disabled them. Uh, and yeah, we have Komorebi installed. There is one caveat when you're installing with Winget. And that is after you run this step, you do need to close the terminal and open up a fresh terminal so that the latest uh, installed binaries can be picked up by the system. So now you can do comorebc help. And in the same way that we checked that winget is working, we can use this command to make sure that comorebi is installed properly and working as well. So what is our next step after this is installed? Well, we can proceed to get the example configurations. And as of this version of Komorebi, all you have to do to get the example configurations is run Komorebi C quick start. So Komorebi C quick start We'll grab everything that we need. And now we can run comorebc start dash dash whkd. This is going to start comorebi, which is going to tile and manage the windows, and whkd, which is used for the keyboard shortcuts. 
so you can see that the tiling happened and I can move things around I can make new windows move them around and that's that's all it takes to get up and running and started so you may be wondering how you can control things on this example configurations page if you come down to whkdrc uh, this is the example file that was downloaded uh, and you can see these are the suggested keybinds so focusing windows you'll use alt and hjkl uh, to move windows you'll use alt and shift uh, plus hjkl uh, you know you can play around with stacking windows resizing there are a lot of commands and if you want to see which commands are available for you to bind uh, head on over to cli reference and these are all of the commands that are available for you to bind and it has all of the the help for uh, for every single command pretty pretty cool uh, I suggest you spend time going through all of this page, the example configurations page. It's going to walk you through uh, some common values that you might like to change in the comorebi.json file. Uh, and also, once you are comfortable with that, you might want to take a look at the common workflows tab. Um, and this is going to continue being updated uh with with very specific targeted tutorial videos as well uh so yeah if you would like to see those tutorial videos as and when they go live please do make sure to subscribe to the channel i hope this was helpful for all of you and i hope that this is uh, a much simpler and easier way uh, for new users to get started using Komal Rebi compared to earlier versions. All right, my friends, I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day, free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.